everyone. Hi mom, it's Liz here at The Paper Project and I am sharing my design team project for Victoria Designs. I used a variety of the kits in their shop and this is a vintage office themed altered file folder. I've seen a lot of ladies um, using these file folders. I've done mine a little different and I was so inspired because I had these really nice thick uh, file folders that I wanted to use and I've been making tags with them but I thought I wanted to do something a little different so I am so excited you guys I hope you like this flip through there's a lot of ephemera in this um, flip through because what I'm doing with it is um, it's like a stationary set so I, I wanted to do this vintage office stationary set it has lots of pockets and tuck spots and you know I just love that I, I realize that's what I love about working with um, paper and bags and stuff so let me show you inside because there are so many goodies to see my friends okay so the cover I do have this really nice um, paper clip here and that can be used anywhere anything in the set can be used anywhere of course if you take everything out I just thought this would look so cute on a desk or as a gift for happy mail or swaps or oh my gosh it's just everything about it I love hear the crunch I love the crunch okay so the cover again I will take things out so here I made a large pocket which has this layaway envelope from J9 scrap shop all the links will be below this is a little sentiment that is in one of the um, kits that I used from Victoria Designs. Coffee stained paper with a little Cavallini stamp. I got to use my Cavallini stamps, I was so happy. Um, I did use some Graphics Fairy as well. On the cover, I've done a bit of layering and some script stamping and that sort of thing. And then, so what I did here is a large pocket with this glassine bag from J9 Scrap Shop. And I just tucked in a large image from the kit that I was using and what I did is I uh, separated everything so I made pockets out of what would have been pages I guess I did stitch um, here and there and I also have stitched the pockets close on either side I'll show you guys that later so I made pockets with what would be the pages which I'm so excited about and then using a glassine envelope from day nine scraps I just added another sentiment I love these. Um, they look like the wax seals and they do come with the um, scripted letters and stuff, but I wanted to use a blank one. Oh my gosh, I just love them. Love, definition of love there. Ideas, and so that would get tucked in there. Um, I did put that small pocket in the front with this really nice stamped burlap. And again, you saw the pocket there. Let me show you guys the tag that was in the front. And this one I used a J9 Scraps time card. And what I did with this is I made a pocket in the front and I just distressed the back. I added actually one of my canceled stamp embellishments with a little bit of trim as you can see there. I think it just looks gorgeous the way that that's finished. And um, I also added two additional items that are in the ephemera kits. I love these definition tags. And then of course I added my little Cavallini vintage phone little stamp there because it goes so well together. So now let me show you inside. inside. We're just in the front pocket. <sighs> Look at this gorgeous kit. I just thought about someone sitting there and just writing little notes or putting things that they're going to be putting in their journals or, oh my gosh, Mother's Day gift. Ooh, don't let me start it. Okay, so um, here we are with this side of the pocket. I've used my Cavallini washi tape. I made a pocket in the back of this glassine bag and I just done, I've just i done some layering there. And then I did make this tag out of just random bits and stuff. Um, and my Cavallini vintage uh, typewriter stamp with a little sentiment and that just gets tucked right in there. And then these ones, um, definition of happy days of the week and another little one just get tucked right in the front there we wanted it the large pocket in the back has a bunch of goodies and i did back up the um file folder also with elements from the kit it's one of the pages and it looks like torn paper i just love it uh j9 scraps and this is um catalog card i did stitch on it as you can see i made this really 
cute little flip out. You can do a little note there. It says, don't forget. It's got a little bit of lace and stuff on it. I made this envelope and I did stitch it closed. I just did embellishing. I just added some of this coffee stained ledger paper that flips right out. And the stamp I used, you guys, I'm so excited to use it, but also not too excited because it's so hard. My vintage giant stamp that I found at a yard sale a while back. So anyways, I got to use that. The numbers are just, you know, you can barely see it, but I love how it looks. Um, I added in this front pocket here elements from the kit that can be used anywhere. And that's what I love about this. You can use this absolutely anywhere or you can keep it together and add to it or, you know, use the little bits and pieces to add to your to your work. I did make this pocket out of another glassine bag from Janine's Crab Shop. And then here's another what would be page from the kit. And I made another pocket again. I sewed it in and then inserted that envelope there. I just love it. I had a little bit of lace. Oh my gosh, I love this kit. I love Vintage Office. So this was just, you know, what I was envisioning when I put this together. Um, I'll start with a small pocket here. And this one happens to have a double pocket there and there. Um, I did add this really nice fabric that has that gorgeous stamp on it. And that is Elements from the kit. Another one made me smile. And then I made this tiny little envelope. There's nothing in it, but you could put something in it. And somehow the way I did it, you can actually fit something right through to the other end, but you can still have something inside it and not even see it. So another secret compartment. Here with the uh, little tickets, I just did a little tuck spot there that holds this little memo note with a little lace and then this um, Cavallini pen stamp. I love this pen stamp. And then now the large pocket in the back has an additional bunch of goodies. This is from Graphics Fairy and it's like a little vintage ledger. Another gorgeous little journaling card. And then I added these little journaling cards that again have the vintage office ephemera to them and this is from graphics fairy i believe and then another what well, i love how they've designed this kit um again stitched up another envelope this one i didn't add the lace to it because i thought if someone wanted to mail it out they could totally as is and you can see a little bit of the staining that came through and then the last little bit here is just this office note paper that I thought went so well so my friends check out all the goodies that I had in here I absolutely love putting this together all the links will be below thank you so much for joining me I hope you got some inspiration from this I totally did I will be making plenty more thanks for stopping by